Improving the security on your website doesn't have to cost you anything. It could be a free DNS provider or it could be a free WordPress plugin if you're using WordPress and you can set this up. Now, it's not enough just setting up firewall rules or installing a plugin. There's a little thing that's called rate limiting. I had to learn this the hard way. And if you want to avoid this, set up your rate limiting settings. Now, one of the big, big things about this is that you're going to reduce your bandwidth. You're going to avoid server load spikes and you're going to reduce the request to your website because you are going to set up rate limiting. So follow me to my desktop right now to set this up. Setting up rate limiting doesn't have to be complex, especially if you kind of get the idea of what you need to do. Now, I'm going to tell you some basic settings and things you should avoid when setting up your rate limiting. Now, in this case, like I mentioned, you can do this from your DNS provider, like the way I'm going to show you, or you can do this on a WordPress plugin. In this case, for example, WordFence has a rate limiting setting. Now, there's some basic settings in WordFence, so I do recommend that you do this on the DNS side. Now, before I show you this, let me show you the sponsor for this video. Scraping multiple websites or logging into multiple accounts, it's practically impossible, but not if you use multi-login. And you won't believe how easy it is to launch one of these cloud browsers that will let you accomplish all of this. So jump over to the link. They do have a free trial, so go ahead and check that out and jump over to your dashboard. And one of the great things about multi-login is that you can get residential proxies to set up multiple accounts from different IPs. Now, let me show you how easy it is to launch one of these cloud browsers. So go into new profile, name your profile right here. In this case, I'll name it Ecom, and you have the option to use cloud or local. In this case, I'll use local and you have your operating system, Mac OS, Windows or Linux, the browser type. You can use Mimic X, which uses Chrome technology or Stealth Fox X, which uses Firefox technology. Then you have your location and proxy options. You can use mast, custom, real, which is if I use real, it's going to detect that's in Mexico. In this case, I'll use mast. And then you have the option to use no proxy or proxy. If you select it, go ahead and add your details. In this case, I'll use no proxy. Then we have our network options. You have the option to set your time zone, WebRTC, geolocation, geolocation data, port scan protection, turn that on or off. And then you have your hardware options. So you got your navigator, you can use custom and you have all these options available. In this case, I'll use mask. The screen type, and in this case, I'm gonna select one of these resolutions just for testing purposes. Media devices, audio context, graphic object behavior, WebGL and WebGPU metadata. Again, you can use custom or mask. Font data, and if you're good to go, go ahead and create it. And it's gonna be launched really quickly. There we go, here's my ecom. I am going to go ahead and launch it. Remember, we selected a special resolution and here we go. We got our browser that we can start scraping or logging into multiple accounts. So if I jump over to Facebook, you can see that I will be able to log in, even though I am logged in my personal computer. Now I have the option to log into multiple accounts without getting detected at the same computer or the same IP. So go ahead and check it out. Link in the description. All right, so let's get into this. So like I said, I'm going to show you on Cloudflare. And to get access to the rate limiting settings, go into security, go to WAF, which is your firewall rules. And in this section, there's a little tab that says rate limiting rules. Now, this is my test site that I use for this purpose, and it's super easy. Now, you only have on the free version of Cloudflare one rule, which should be more than enough if you set it up the correct way. So let's go into create rule and a rule. We can go ahead and name this. So I'll just say rate limiting. Say, let's keep it simple. If I had several rules, then I would name these separately. But in this case, it doesn't matter. Okay. Now you have several ways to set up your rate limiting. So you got your URL path. So that means that if they go to this section of a path that says WP admin, if it's a WordPress site, or let's say login, if it's a SaaS or any type of section, or if it has a PHP in it, or if it has anything that you want to limit to, you can do it here. For example, if it's going to be the URL path, you could set it up as equals, does not equal, contains. Now, sometimes you just want to use, if it just contains that word, you want to use rate limiting. So let's just say that if it just contains admin, this is going to activate the rate limiting. Now, be aware that if you have a page or a post that says admin in there, it's going to trigger the rate limiter. Now, be aware that not that not that might not be a bad idea if you set up your amount of requests the right way. OK, so in this case, we're going to keep it really open. We're going to say if it contains admin that we're going to trigger this and you also have the and or or. So if you set up and that means that two things have to happen for this to be triggered. 
So let's just say that if it goes to admin and if it's a verified bot or not a verified bot, it's going to activate this. So two of these things have to happen for the rate limiter to start working. Now, that's just one way to do it. The other way is use the, the or. Now, like I mentioned before, you only have one rule to set up here on Cloudflare on the free version, but you can just use or 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 and set up all the rules that you want to set up. So in this case, we're saying saying that the URL path, if it contains the word admin in any piece of the URL, it's going to activate it or we can do verified bots. So if it's not a verified bot, just go ahead and use rate limiting. So it could be a good idea, depending if you allow the good bots that you know to access your site. Now, there's a list of good bots that Cloudflare has, but sometimes you set up a new company that's your uptime monitor. Well, you want to allow them. You want to white label that IP. OK, so that's one way to do it. And we'll go to or again. And then we have the option for verified bot categories. So there's verified bot categories that you can set up here. So if they equal any of these, for example, search engine crawler, maybe you don't want to allow these guys or maybe you just want to limit the amount of times that you reach your site. You can use this, for example, search engine optimization, monitoring, and you got a list right here that you can set up. So let's just say that if it does not equal, for example, search engine crawler. So if it doesn't equal one of these, let's go ahead and get rid of that one. That means, for example, it's not going to limit the rate that, for example, Google, Bing, Yahoo, Yandex, all those guys, they can search your site as many times as possible in the amount of time that you set. So let's go keep this as is. OK, and then we have the option to when rate limit exceeds exceeds. So this is where we could set it up. Now, be aware that with the free version, you only have the 10 second period. So you need to consider that when you set this up. So what does this mean? So any 10 second period, how many times can, for example, a not verified bot or someone that goes to admin can go there in a certain time? So, for example, I'm going to say 10 requests in 10 seconds. So that means that if someone goes to a link that has admin on my site and they go more than 10 times in 10 seconds, it's going to trigger this. It's going to limit them to stop going to your site. Now, this is a great way to stop hackers and people trying to reach your site because how do hackers work? So hackers go into your site and they try to find ways to hack your site. So they go to the admin sections, they go to PHP sections, they go to XML, etc. certain parts of your site and they go all out on your site. I mean, they go 100 requests a second, 200 requests a second because they want to reach a certain part of your site that's vulnerable. All right. So if you limit them, if they go to if they try to go here 10 times in 10 seconds, boom, it stops them. OK, now let me show you here what's going to happen. The action is going to be to block them and the default Cloudflare rate limit response. So this is going to be the response or you can set up a custom HTML, custom text, like say, hey, you're being stopped by rate limiting. You want to set that up, right? So we'll use the custom rate limiter and the duration of this. You can set up for 10 seconds, so it's going to stop them for 10 seconds and then it's going to refresh. And then again, if they try to do it again, it's going to stop them. This is going to really work because, like I said, when hackers use bots to search for vulnerabilities on your site, I mean, they're doing 1000 hits, 2000 hits in like few seconds. So this is going to really limit them how they can reach your site and try to hack it. So this is going to discourage them to try to hack your site. It's going to say, you know what? I'll go try to hack another site that doesn't even have a rate limiter on. And this is how it works. Now, like I said, you can use these rules and you can use the ORs to add more and more and more of these options to set up the way you like. Now, things that you should consider when adding your rate limiter is that if you do a really harsh rule right here, it might even block you from reaching the site. So if you're saying that only one, for example, request per 10 seconds, well, you might limit yourself especially if it's uh, like a random link, because you can sell, you can set up a path that says if it has a PHP in it, which is a really common extension on a WordPress site where you'll be blocking yourself because some of the elements won't load because there's a lot of elements inside of a website. So when you go to a website, a lot of elements load and those are requests. And if inside of those requests, there's a lot of them that has PHP in there, you're going to block yourself out for 10 seconds. Okay. So you can just turn it off or set it up the right way, but kind of work with this, play around with it, set up your rules 
I mean, try to be really hard in the beginning with your test. And if you're being blocked or people are saying that they are being blocked out or they can't make a purchase or something like that, then go ahead and update the limit here. I mean, you can set whatever you want. For example, 30 quests in 10 seconds, 100 requests in 10 seconds. You can set it up the way you like and the way it's going to work out for you. Now, I really, really highly recommend that you set up a rate limiter. That's if you're doing it here, for example, on your DNS provider, or if you're going to do it over here on your uh, WordPress plugin, most of the security plugins have a rate limiter. So definitely set this up and you get different types of settings right here that you can set up. I would recommend that you do it on the DNS provider side and not a plugin, but it's up to you. If you're not using a DNS provider that has these settings, do it on the plugin. It's a great way to discourage hackers from trying to hack your site. So definitely set this up. So I hope you like this video. Don't forget about the sponsor. If you want to check them out, the link we provided in the description. And remember, there's a coupon code that you can use that I'll also leave here in the description. And that's a wrap.